friends, it's Deb from Bowl Me Over. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, we have St. Patrick's Day coming up. And there is a ton, a ton of recipes on the blog for great St. Patrick's Day meals, whether that's, um, you know, slow cooker uh, corned beef, which is fabulous. And then, of course, corned beef stew and cold cannon and all kinds of amazing recipes. And I'm adding one to the blog for St. Patrick's Day this year, and that is four ingredient Irish soda bread. Super easy, really good. <laughs> it's one of those meals that, or one of those recipes that you go, did I just make that? Was it really that easy? Yeah, it is. So let's get started. Let me tell you what we're gonna need for this recipe. Some Bisquick, just plain old Bisquick. And um, we're gonna need two cups of that. Six tablespoons of butter cold butter, sugar, tablespoon, and evaporated milk. I like evaporated milk because it's super creamy. And then we're also going to use about a quarter cup, um, and this is optional. You don't have to use this at all. I like craisins. Um, if you like raisins, that would be more traditional. Um, but that's it. That's all we're going to need for this recipe. And what we're going to start with is I want to plump up the, the craisins a little bit. So I'm going to grab a bowl and fill it with water and add about a half cup or a quarter cup of uh, craisins to it. And while we're putting this together, I'm going to let the craisins just plump up and be even juicier and tastier. So hang on just a quick sec. So that easy. You know, nothing special here. You could, though, um, rehydrate them in like, 7-Up or ginger ale, um, squirt, <laughs> anything bourbon, that would be tasty. You can rehab, I'm just doing it in water and I'm going to set it off to the side. Um, you can even like hit it in the microwave a little bit, but I don't think that's really necessary. But let me show you how easy this is to make. So we're going to start, move all this aside, with a large mixing bowl. And we're going to add two cups of Bisquick to the mixing bowl and set it aside. To that, I'm going to add my sugar, and that was a tablespoon of sugar. And that's perfect. Just break that up a little bit. And the most complicated thing we're going to do here is we're going to grade the butter into the mixture here. We could use like two knives and chop it up and all those things, but I'm telling you, this is so much easier. Um, we could use a like a pastry, pastry cutter, but why? If you're watching me, then you also subscribe to let's get the most flavor with the least effort kind of cooking. So that's what we're doing here. I'm using, I'm trying to keep the paper on the butter as long as I can, because I know that if my fingers touch it, it's going to, you know, warm it up and then hence begin melting. And cold butter is what makes things puff and, you know, like get the layers of the, not get, make things puff, but it helps it get the layers of um, buttery goodness in there. So we did pretty good. Just going to finish with these few pieces and carefully grate the rest of it here without grating my fingers. Perfect. And look at that. See how nice and light that is? Okay. Get the butter from the inside. Perfect. Be right back. Okay. This is such a simple recipe. I love it when things kind of come together that easily. Now this is our evaporated milk and we're just going to pour it into the large mixing bowl with our other ingredients. And just, just begin mixing. And our bread, our Irish soda bread, is going to have some lumps in it, and that's okay. 
All right, so that's not quite together yet. Now I'm going to drain. I know they didn't sit here very long, but you know, in a perfect world, you'd leave them in there about a half hour. Um, but I'm going to drain the cranberries. I'm going to put them on a paper towel and kind of pat them dry because we don't want to add any extra moisture to our bread mixture. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. See, that's easy enough, right? So just, just patted them dry and there wasn't really a whole lot of moisture left. And I'm just going to dump it into our bread dough. And then give it another stir. And like I said, there's going to be, see how the dough has came together. It's still really sticky. See that? That's what we're looking for. That's perfect. Now I have a pie plate. You can butter it. I prefer to spray it with Pam. Spray it well. This is a sticky dough and it will stick if you don't like it butter or spray it well. Now we're just going to spread this here, spoon it into our pan. And use my finger a little bit. And you just want to even it out. It's going to look like there isn't a whole lot there, but it will rise and get puffy. That's why we use um, Bisquick. That's that shortcut of using Bisquick because it um, also has that baking soda and stuff in it and it helps it to puff and rise. So that looks perfect. I'm going to put this in my preheated oven. It's preheated at 375 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll be back in a bit. Hey, my friends, I was sitting there, I was playing on my computer and all of a sudden, lo and behold, my timer went off. So let's grab the bread out of the oven. Okay. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness, it's just puffed up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit it on the cooling rack, let it sit here for 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes, we'll invert it and we'll enjoy some fresh bread. Be right back. Okay, my friends, um, the bread has cooled. It's been sitting on my um, cooling rack for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take an offset spatula and just run it around the outside of the bread just real quick here and hopefully we'll be able to release it really easily the moment of truth right let's just see here i'm so left-handed sometimes hang on okay Stick just a little bit on the bottom. So take that, take that knife again, and and uh, that's where the offset spatula comes in, super handy. Oh, I think we're good now. Uh, just about. But, oh, I'm I'm pushing it a little bit. I should let it cool a little bit longer. But, um, yum. <laughs> well, the bad news is, or the good news, I can scrape this right off here. And that's going to be the best part. Oh. I love the crispy edges. And the soda bread, it's like super buttery because of the butter that we grated into it. Hang on a sec. Of course, no bread is complete without a little fresh butter. So the, the bad news is if you try to do a whole lot with this when it's warm, it'll crumble a little bit. The good news is it's warm bread <laughs> and it's delicious. 
Mm. Guys, that is so good. Um, the cranberries, and I think especially because we rehydrated them the smidge, they're just like soft and plump. And that little bit of sugar makes the bread just the slightest tinge of sweetness. Um, this would be perfect with a bowl of soup. Perfect with some corned beef. Oh my goodness. And to know that it made, took like 10 minutes to make. Just a nice little bread. You can slice it in pie shapes. You can slice it across. Um, but just allow it to cool really good or it will crumble. Um, but again, nobody has to know but you and me. <laughs> mm, that's good stuff. That is so buttery and so good. Last time when I made this, Dan was up and he was watching movies late. And I got up the next morning, the whole thing was gone. <laughs> so I'm telling you, this has been taste tested several times. It is good. Um, you can find all the ingredients, the list of ingredients, the amounts and everything right below us. Don't forget, head to the blog. If you're looking for all things St. Patrick's Day, head to the blog. It's www.bowlmeover.com, bowl-me-over.com. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok, Pinterest, of course, Facebook, you name it. I do appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Um, we will, there goes my beeper again. Um, look forward to seeing you soon, okay? Well, we're dropping a lot more videos now, so hang on. That is one thing I hate about that stove. <laughs> that beeper just keeps going off. Um, the one thing, uh, we're dropping a lot more videos now, so kind of keep an eye on it. Like and, like and subscribe below. Um, I'm try hoping to get like two a week now because I know people are really enjoying the videos that we're doing. So thank you again for your support. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon.